Happy December 1st, ladies and gentlemen! What is up? Jiwo here, and we are back with another episode of Tales of Fantasia for the Super Nintendo. In our last episode, we traveled back here to... what's his face's place? Uh, Demutel's. And we picked up some items that we couldn't pick up after we beat him, and that would be the Halberd. Uh, for Jiwo, an awesome staff that allows us... or not a staff, it's like a... I don't know, a polearm type weapon? Yeah. That allows us to... I mean, it totally buffs our t slice and stab stats. Uh, aside from that, uh, did we get something? Oh yeah, we got another book for uh, Clarth over here. Uh, a book with pages yellowed by age. Its text is written in blood. A raviolis. Ravioli's book. We got him a ravioli's book. And now I think that, now that we have everything, we can get out of here and probably run into battles on the way. So let's do that. There you go, Mint. Way to cast those ice tornadoes. Alright, so... I think we'll hit this last one with a lightning bolt. So how's everybody doing today? Y'all doing good? Um, uh, I hope so. Because it's getting close to the holidays. 24 more days and it's Christmas. My favorite holiday of the year. And also something else I wanted to point out was... Why is there a little star by our level 20? Hmm? Anybody know? Anybody know? How come, uh, how come Mint doesn't have a little star by her name? Why do we have a little star? This makes no sense. Can somebody point, like, can somebody give me a reason as to why that's happening? Why I have a little star next to my level 20? Really appreciate that, peeps. Alright, now let's save our game in GTFO. Okay, sorry for the wait, man. I forgot to put on my headphones, so you're probably hearing all this background sound from my computer speakers. But anyway, let us keep going. Uh, more random battles, as usual. Luckily, we can just, like, we're able to... Two, before I was so rudely interrupted by that bone just slashing me. Oh, oh, good job. Good job, Arch. Way to, like, you know, totally freeze a, a skeleton. Poke. Okay, Arch, if you're gonna kill that guy, I mean, if you're gonna cast magic, you better kill him with it. There you go. Hey, Arch, you gained a level. Congrats. Now you have more HP than 700. Now we're probably gonna have to grind and get Arch up to speed with us, because she's only level 12, I believe. Siloof! <laughs> Poke. Ah, oh, Blade Storm! I love burning TP just to, like, kill these guys. They deserve to be dead. I mean, even though they're already skeletons, they deserve to be nothing. Siloof! <laughs> oh, yeah, look at you guys just casting magic on these bones. But I'm stronger! Three stabs and they're done. Huh. You know, I never really noticed you hear Clarth say Yata as well. But now we're hearing Arch with her high-pitched voice say it. Okay. Now before I leave this place, there's one thing I gotta check again. Why am I not allowed into this room? I mean, sure it's a bathroom, but I'm sure there's a secret. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. I mean, maybe it's nothing. Maybe it really is nothing, and... Um... There's nothing really in there, but I'll have to visit another day, maybe later on in the game, and see if, you know, there's something there. Maybe it's like an ultimate weapon, we'll find out. Okay, Captain! Heading back, yes we are! This place gives me the creeps, let's GTFO! Yeah, if you don't know what that means, good, because it's probably better. <laughs> Alrighty, so, um, yeah, I'm... I'm still pretty tired. I still got a little bit of mucus buildup up in my system. Which is why I'm drinking water. I'll take you anywhere you want to go for a price that is... Okay, I wonder why that text was all slow there. Alright, well you took us where we needed to go. Thank you very much, sir. Now, my... 
uh, priority is going to Alvanista. That's where we need to go. And I believe there's a boat on this side of the dock um, that takes us there. Yes, this guy should be the one. When will we, you be leaving? Difficult to say, DS could attack Alvanista at any moment, so I guess I'm landlocked for the time being. Leave this one to me, guys. Hey, sailor, tell you what. If you do me a favor, I'll do you a little favor down in the cargo hold, wink. Whoa, Arch, being such a naughty girl. No, you're just a child. Hey, I'm 17, I'm not a child. Look, I'll see to it that you're well paid. Well, alright. My fee is 200 gold per person. That comes down to 800 gold total. Do we have a deal? Wow, that's a lot cheaper than going to West Island. Hoist the sails! Dude, freaking Arch. No need to sell yourself out like that. That is, uh, that's pretty bad. I mean, all these adult themes here in this game should be rated PG-13. I love the ocean breeze. Ugh. I don't feel so good. So, Jiwo, which one are you after? Huh? W what are you talking about? Between the two girls, which one do you like better? Mint has that quiet elegance about her, but I bet Arch fucks like a tiger. What the sh- <laughs> Wow! Who- <laughs> God. I love this game! Clarth, I can't believe you just said that! <laughs> if I were to take one under the sheets, which one you would you rather I took? Clarth, what about Miranda? You can't go about t taking young girls under the sheets. Miranda just helps me with my research. Are you sure that's all she helps you with? Okay, you got me, Jiwo. Good one. Hey, what are you talking about? Nothing. Just a little male bonding. Oh, come on, I want to know. <laughs> wow, that's so bad, Clarth. You are the, you are such a bro. Anyway, are you adventurers too? Uh, something like that. I'm Maya, a swordsman. You're looking to join the army? No, I'm headed to the Moria Gallery. I'm more of what you'd call a treasure hunter. The Moria Gallery? Yeah, the old dwarf caverns, but I need permission from Alvanista's royal family to get in. And you think they're just gonna give it to you? Well, I've got connections through this through the Adventurers Guild. I'm hungry, gonna head down to the cafeteria. See ya. Hmm. So we need permission to get into the Moria Gallery. I'm hungry too! Come to think of it, we haven't eaten in a while. Let's go get some food. <laughs> oh, Clarth, you humor me, sir. You humor me. Okay. Uh, well, let's go downstairs and see what's up. Where should we sit? Hey there! Come and sit by me. We'd best not be rude. <laughs> I like this music, it's very like jazz clubby. Uh, snap those fingers. Hey, let me buy you a beer. <laughs> Clark is in freaking love. Hey, you're my kind of woman. Down the hatch. Cheers. Hey, bartender, one more round. <laughs> that cloth is gonna be like plastered drunk an hour later. Can we go now? <laughs> cloth is such a ladies man. Another hour later. What is going on? Oh, they're still drinking. Arch, haven't you had enough? Oh wow, Arch is drinking too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I just put it down. Yet another hour later. Oh, Arch just KO'd. Oh wait, is that Arch? I think so. And so the bartender says, hey, that's not a duck. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I've got another one. No, come on, one more and... Giggle, I'll... I'll giggle... I'll piss my pants, giggity! <laughs> I'm gonna go, t Hick, tell you a secret. Really? Ooh, burp. Tell me, tell me. I'm not really going to Moria. What are you talking about? Uh, no, Jiwo, stop it. That feels good. Mm. <laughs> Freaking Arch. Actually, I'm on a mission to sell information about Alvanista's government secrets to a spy in Alvanista's guild. What kind of information? Alvanista may seem at peace, but some higher-ups in the government are controlled by Deus. But how do you know this? Deus even has complete control over the prince. That's why Alvanista is refusing to get involved in the fight against Deus. Brilliant tactical maneuver, eh? I had no idea. Oh god, yes! Yes, give it to me! Give it to me hard! Oh my god. Oh, Jiwo. <laughs> Sigh. Regardless, this is just between you and me, a couple of hick best friends. Well, I should get to bed. Yeah, me too. Oh, Clarth, you're just gonna let her go away. Stay true to Miranda. Arch, get to bed, lightweight lush. Oh, gee, whoa. You were wonderful. Should I tell Jiwo about this? Nah. <laughs> whoa, you're heavier than you look. <laughs> He's just dragging her around. Dude, freaking Arch wants us. This is cool. All right, Arch, here we are. Oof. Hey, sleepy time. Wow, that was a kind of M-rated cutscene, wouldn't you say? <laughs> and judging by the little symbols, it looks like Arch is a little hungover. <coughs> Bless you, Garrett. Yeah. What is it, Maya? Jiwo, look out! Clarth. It's Maya. She's possessed. I can sense the evil spirit. Oh, Clarth. Clarth, what do you mean? Ugh, I think I had Hick a little too much beer. Clarth, get to bed. I'll check on Maya. Mumble, mommy. Arch, wake up! Burp, ugh, what a hangover. I don't believe this. Mint, Mint, wake up, there's a monster on board. Ugh, I feel sick. Guess I didn't tell you I'm not one for sea travel. Ah, oh, great. Looks like we're gonna take it out all on our own. Cause we're a beast. We are the beastly Jiwo man, person. All right, where'd you go, Maya? I think she was trying to kill us right now. I do not take kind to assassins. Oh, kitty! <laughs> kitty, kitty, yum, yum. Oh, she's down there. Captain, do something! She's spazzing out! I'm scared. Who is that woman? Alright. I like how the music's all freaking trippy. And hey, something good about yesterday. Um, I got a Street Fighter soundtrack CD from... The collector's edition from the first Street Fighter, and it made me really happy. Yes, it did. Welcome. Okay, that's all you're gonna say? Alright, Maya. Maya, wake up! Hey, help me. 
What the crap? Oh, here comes the blade storm. Yeah. Dude, we're so pro at this. Here we go. Focus. Ouch, that hurts, you jerk. Dude, this is a tough battle. Oh man, this is intense. I wasn't expecting Maya to be such, like, so freaking tough. Oh, but hey, we won. 450 experience just for me. 4,000 gold acquired. And a question mark weapon. Jiwo, are you alright? Maya seemed possessed. Perhaps by an agent of Dea sent to kill us. That's not important. This means Deus knows who we are and where we are headed. Man, that was trippy. Alrighty. Well, it looks like we're still sailing. And it looks like we finally got to Alvanista, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Thank you. My pleasure. We've got to start helping each other out. See ya. Thanks, Captain Crunch. Thank you very much. <laughs> We've got to get to the castle to save the prince. Don't worry, I've got a plan. I'll tell you when we get to the inn. Alright. Well, we got a question mark sword. Or question mark weapon. So, let's use a rune bottle and see what the heck it is. I also forgot about this aqua marine and ruby ring. <sighs> So the ruby ring, a summoner's ring, the wearer becomes a stronger fighter. And aquamarine, the wearer is shielded from water. Oh, those are kind of handy. But let's use this on our question mark weapon and see, we get an ice scimitar? A sword with a blade as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. Okay, well let's see this. Ice scimitar increases our slice and our accuracy. So, no more stabs? It's gonna drop our stabs. Oh uh, well, let's stick with the ice scimitar. And also, man, do I drop the, oh we can't put on one of those rings. That kind of sucks. All right, let's see who can put on one of those rings. Can you put on a ring? No, you cannot put on a ring. Kalarth, can you put on a ring? Aquamarine and the Ruby Ring. It looks like you can. I wonder if Arch can too. No, you can't. Looks like it's all about Clarth to wear those rings. So you become a stronger fighter with the Ruby Ring. And this protects you against water. Um, well, since you're always casting magic, you're gonna stick with the Aquamarine Ring. I mean, it'd be awesome if you were. if you could really help us out like that, but no. My dad's a sailor and gets to travel. He won't let me go with him, though. He just doesn't know how the world really is. Impossible! Krabby. Krabby. Okay, but let's explore this dock because we always find some freaking... I don't know. Something. This is a cargo ship to Belladum. Cool! Can I talk to the captain, please? Can you get out of the way? This is a cargo ship to Belladum, but I can't take you one way. If you, but I can take you one way if you'd like. The fee is 100 gold per person, which comes to 400 gold. Okay, so it takes us to Belladum Village, but we have to find another way back. That kind of sucks. Okay, so I think that's it for this harbor. Unless let's see if we could find some hidden treasure. This freaking crabs in the way. Krabby, Krabby. Damn it! Don't tell me I have to wait for this crab to walk all the way over there. Okay, what if I leave and then come back? Okay, you freaking birds, get out of the way. Okay, here we go. Damn it! 
I know there's probably something over there, but this crab is just taking his sweet time. Okay, so... No, you freaking bird, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Okay, we're just gonna leave and give this another try when we get back into this area. So let's see. So yes, this is Alvinista, but uh, I think I'll call it an episode here as soon as I figure out how to get past that crab. Because 10 bucks says there is some treasure- God, these freaking birds are just in my way. Causing a scene. But yeah, it looks like there is a treasure chest over there. And we have to get behind this crab. So, this freaking crab needs to move out of the way. No, come back down here. Stop going that way. Oh, man. Okay, no! Okay, let's give this another try. We're gonna exit, come back out, and see where the crab is at now. Okay, crab, there you are. Get out of my way! Damn it! Okay, come back here. Can you please come back here? Thank you very much. Okay, now we're gonna slowly step out of the way and... Nope, okay, just a little bit more. Okay, start walking up, please. Can you start walking up, dude? Start walking up, man. Oh, there was my chance. Okay, here we go. Start walking up. Yes! And we get a lavender. God, I hate these these freaking sea creatures. They're just getting in my way. But yeah, let's see that what that lavender does again. Where where'd it go? Dude, I have no idea where that would be. Oh there it is. Oh right, this mystical herb increases one strength rating by one. Jibo, you're our powerhouse, so you get to have that strength. We well, also had some other items like that. Um What was it? Uh, savories? Okay, like I said, I want to save those for a little later. But, uh, Verbia. Verbena. You know what, let's just bust, uh, bust? Boost Jibo, because he's our main character, and we like him the most. Actually, I like Mint. I don't know, I kind of like Arch, though. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching. We finally made it here to Alvinista, and I will see you tomorrow for another episode of Tales of Fantasia. Jiwo out. Happy December!